Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. I'm here because I have a few little uh, atmospheric only airplanes that I've been working on that I like to show you because I think they are quite cool in their sleek little designs. And this is an iteration of the original design that the rest of them are based off of that are uh, more more different airplanes than, than this one. So I'm just showing you this one because it's a little more clean looking than the original, original design. Uh, this is the Aero series of aircraft and I thought they looked like an Aero when I was building them but the more I looked at it the more I realized it looks a lot more like a fish but but oh well. I'm going to let off the brakes here. We're going to activate SAS throttle up. We're going to get this thing flying. See what this thing can do. There we go. Brakes seem to be lagging a little bit. It's been very easy to hit the tail on the runway. I've actually already done it multiple times. Let's bring the gear up. And this thing flies very, very straight. I guess that's another reason why I called it the arrow. We've only got that one little air intake. I'm gonna just I'm gonna fly this really, really low. See if we can get it flattened out. Under 20 meters. I'm going up again. Flattened out. Now we're losing altitude a little bit fast. Yeah. So we can we have very good control over our altitude. It flies very straight. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do some turns with this. This thing will spin out on occasion. I try to turn too sharply, and that's the main thing that's cool about this plane: how straight it flies. It's not super maneuverable like the other others. We're gonna try to come in for a landing on the runway, and I am an awful pilot, so let's see how this goes. I'm gonna kill the engines show that these little wings are actually generating enough lift for us to glide. I see little, these little wings. I'm going to put on the lights just so I have a better idea of how close I am to the ground. And are we getting enough distance? I can, I can make us go a little further. Get onto that runway. Line ourselves up a little better. Oh, are we gonna touch down right in front of the runway? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm going crooked. Oh, oh, okay. So that didn't work. Um. So I, I guess now we're moving on to the next aircraft. I will see you in a moment. And we are back this is the this is a broadhead model I called it that because uh, the stationary wings made it wider at the front and then I just cut off the tail and most of the rest of the planes are more similar to this tailless uh, not tailless but stunted tail design and I thought this plane uh, this wing orientation looked really cool with the the large control surfaces going over SAS modules like that. So let's turn off these brakes and let's turn on SAS and let's let's just play with this a little bit. It's the center of mass is balanced just above where these wheels pivot. So I can do this quite easily. And let's let's power up and we'll take off very shortly. And keep forgetting which which button uh, brings in the gear and this one is quite a bit more maneuverable covered from a crazy roll do crazy rolls and we can just fly very tight circles around the Kerbal Space Center and I kind of want I want to get on the inside of that control tower and buzz it 
Let's go around another time. And if we survive this, then we'll try to land. Now, we're not going to be on the inside. Let's turn around then. And hopefully I'm not losing too much air because these air intakes work a little bit differently. I don't suck the air in. i got to push them in. Push it in. I'm going to buzz the tower. Buzz! Oh, wow, that was close. <laughs> that was much closer than I planned. Um, now we're going to come around. We're going to go for a landing. We've got quite a few planes to show you, so I don't want to spend a whole lot of time with any one of them. Let's do some very quick barrel rolls. And let's turn here. There are ones that turn faster than this, and they're very fun to fly. And not really all that unstable. Let's cut the engines. I think I'm coming too, too fast. Am I too fast? Let's get the lights on. Yeah, I'm going to overshoot the runway. No, don't want to overshoot the runway. I'm going to land it this time. No, stop going up. Go down. Go down to land. Oh, we're going to roll off the runway. Roll off the runway. Oh, roll off the runway. Oh, this is bad. Actually, this isn't too bad. As long as I stay flat. I still land this. There we go. Perfect landing. And now we well, we can't actually tip over because we're not on flat land. All right, next plane. And here we have another variation of the the broadhead. This one's got another SAS module. It's got slightly differently shaped. It's got the um, these tail pieces a little bit further back, and it's once again using it to mount the engines and that parachute there isn't really needed but uh, we're going back to just using control surfaces and so again we can do a little fun tilty thing let's bring the hood back up and let's turn off these brakes and let's take off I do believe this is the most maneuverable of my planes Quite sharp, uh, quite tight circles around the KSC again. And it will be slightly tighter than the other plane. This one actually does lose electric charge when it's maneuvering because it's powering so many SAS modules. Let's do a backflip. Can I do a backflip? I think I can do a backflip. Okay, this is where we want to. Turn the engines off. Okay, let me do that. We can do some pretty cool maneuvers with this thing as well. It can do a very, very sharp U-turn by going up and then cutting the engine and then just sort of flipping entirely around. And I didn't, I didn't quite do it right. I am a really bad pilot. This one's a lot of fun to fly. I don't fly quite as straight as the arrow. The arrow's long tail helps keep it, keep it straight. We're going to go in for another landing. These wings are actually producing enough lift for it to glide once again and, and come in for a landing. Uh, it does, it does... Does it need a powered landing? I think it needs a powered landing, though. So we're going to land this thing on the runway. Get gear down. 
get lights out. And we're going to completely cut the engines as we start losing speed and altitude. And we're still going quite fast. We're still going fast. We're going fast. Oh, well. Well, oh no, stop tipping, stop tipping. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, that's bad. Okay. I call that a success. All right, these next two planes are something a little special and a little silly. Uh, we're going to copy it you right now because I didn't want you to see the outside of the plane right away. So let's do that. This is quite literally the last plane we flew, except we took all the wings off. Um, I like calling this a wingless airplane, but wings are kind of an important thing to classify something as an airplane. But I, I think it's a fun thing anyway. Um, once again, it's got it's got the balance because so many SAS modules and the wheel placement. So we're going to take off with this thing. We're going to take off with this thing, and I have the brakes on. That might be a problem. There we go. This thing, this thing takes off. And then we just start flying around like this. And we can do some silly maneuvers that are limited by silly things like wings. We can do things like that. And our engines burn out just for a second before we're already going fast enough for this air intake. And it is quite a fun thing to fly because it is so maneuverable. Even wings that are entirely made of control surfaces uh, have broad flat surfaces that limit your movement. And this thing just does whatever it wants. Quite a silly thing. Um, now I'm going to attempt to land this. Of course it doesn't land normally, and I'm not going to try to land on the runway. I'm just going to try to land kind of over in the field over there. And I think what I need to do, let's turn that back on, is uh, do one of those U-turns to slow down myself horizontally. Then I need to point up, so I'm only going vertically. Or I'm going to cut the engines and open the parachute. That works too. Landing gear. Yay! Success! Where'd he go? Alright, so of course the game decided to crash on me after that highly successful uh, landing with the previous aircraft that was not disastrous or destructive in any way, shape, or form, considering any possible meaning of the word, my plane crashed. That is a word. So again, we are inside the cockpit, the plane, and we're shaking our hands around a little bit. What are we doing here? Uh, for the, the reveal of the next super silly plane. And let's get to that. There we go. This is, an, <laughs> this is a variation of the original arrow, arrowhead. Uh, not arrowhead, the original arrow. That's got quite a few more engines on it. And let's just let's just launch this thing. Let's let's do it. Um, let's, let's turn on SAS. I think it'll be important to have. Oh, well, okay. Brakes on, cause problems. Uh, this thing is going to roll off the side of the runway. There's nothing you can do to stop it, but that's definitely how it was supposed to take off. Mission accomplished. Uh, we're just we're just gonna point up. Let me see how high we're gonna go. Just point up. We've got 
four of these air intakes now, feeding these six engines, and we've got atmospheric effects right here. 340 meters a second is the sound barrier, so we've, we've broken that. How we can still hear this plane, I don't know. And we've got, we've got many, many air effects. I'm gonna start getting re-entry effects shortly. Re-entry effects upon exit of the atmosphere. And here we go. Now we are on fire. Oh, and now we're burning out. Just after we light on fire. As per usual, and there is no way to to land this plane. Let's see what our trajectory is, go is though. We're going up to, to 30,000, to 30 kilometers before we're going to start coming down. And I'm just going to watch this thing spin a little bit. I can't get control of it. Have I got control now? No, we're still going up. Let's accelerate. Let's accelerate until we're coming back down. There we go. It seems like I've got control now while I'm time accelerating. There we go. We're coming back down. Let's wait till we see air intake start filling up. I need it quite a bit lower. And. And we've got power to the engines again. This thing does not have enough fuel to get back to land. All, all land is too far away from it right now. And we are super accelerating to, to Mach 2. We're going to hit Mach 2. No, we're actually slowing down as we're going downward. I'm not quite sure how that happens because it's that much more air resistance as the atmosphere gets more dense. Let's go downward. But um, we're going to we're going to bury Mr. Tombos Kerman and his, his vessel at sea. There we go. No tears there. All right. So that's that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Goodbye.